Hey everybody, welcome back to Biblical Seekers. Today, we're going to go over what the forehead and the hand represents in Bible prophecy. It's time to see the truth. Okay, let's begin. First, let's read scripture where it speaks about the forehead and the hand by going to Revelation chapter 20 verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years and we can see this again in Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 which reads and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads now let's begin with what our forehead represents. Well, to start, what exactly is in our forehead? Our brain. You see, scientists have discovered that the frontal lobe of our brain is where our functions such as decisions, judgments, and free will are made. Here, let's take a look at Ezekiel chapter 3 verses 8 and 9. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant, harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. So here we can see that their foreheads are against each other. Now, this surely doesn't mean that their foreheads are literally touching each other, right? It means their thoughts. And where are your thoughts? In our mind. And where is our mind? In our foreheads. We can also see this same kind of prophetic wording in Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 3. Therefore, the showers have been withholden, and there hath been no latter rain, and thou hast a whore's forehead that refuses to be ashamed. Now here, we have a whore's forehead. Again, this is not literal, but is having the mind or thought process, which is what the forehead represents. The mind where we make our free will decisions to whom we will serve. And now, to understand what the hand represents, let's read in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. Notice, our hand is what we do our work with. It is our actions from the decisions that we make. We can also see this in Job chapter 37, verse 7. He sealeth up the hand of every man, that all men may know his work. So again, we see that the hand is representing work. Now, to review everything that we have established today, the forehead represents the mind, and the hand represents work. And remember to stay in the word, and study to show thyself approved, and let the Bible interpret itself. Tune in next time to see the truth.